Nepal Rashtra Bank has doubled down on the legal status of cryptocurrencies in Nepal in a cryptocurrency risk assessment report. This story and much more on 360 Weekly. The Ministry of Finance has prepared a schedule for the preparation of policies and programs and budget for the coming fiscal year 2023-24. The Ministry prepared a budget calendar for the coming fiscal year as per the provision in Financial Procedures and Fiscal Accountability Act and budget formulation guidelines. As per the schedule, discussion will be held on budget policies and programs at the National Planning Commission from April 2nd to 7th. So what in a departments of different ministries have been asked to submit the policy paper regarding budget formulation by April 3rd. Nepal Rashtra Bank has unveiled the cryptocurrency risk assessment report. In the report, the country's central bank has concluded that the cryptocurrency cannot be brought into use as transactions through it would prove financially risky. Cryptocurrency transaction is banned by the existing laws of Nepal. NRB also stated that the transactions in cryptocurrency brought risks not only to the country but also to the people involved in such transactions. The central bank has imposed a ban on cryptocurrency as per the provision of Clause 12 of the Foreign Exchange Regulation Act 2019. Growth in Nepal this year will be slower than the previously projected due to the impacts of import restriction, monetary policy tightening, higher inflation and shrinking government expenditure reflecting the lower government revenue according to the World Bank's twice a year country update. Fine tuning policy in the turbulent environment projects Nepal's economy to grow by 4.1% in fiscal year 23. A downward revision from the October 2022 forecast according to the latest Nepal Nepal development of debt. Growth is expected to accelerate to 4.9% in fiscal year 24, supported by the resumption of tourism, growth in remittances, and the gradual easing of monetary policy. Prime Minister Pushpakamal Dahal has said that the role of cooperatives will be crucial to make the country economically independent. Addressing the Third National Cooperative Congress, Prime Minister Dahal said that the Constitution of Nepal has also acknowledged the cooperative sector as one of the pillars of the country's economy by accepting the contribution made by the cooperative campaigns for the citizens' overall development. Prime Minister Dahal also pledged that the government was always ready to take needed steps to form established cooperative campaigns in the country. The International Monetary Fund chief said that the world economy is expected to grow less than 3% this year, down from 3.4% last year, increasing the risk of hunger and poverty globally. Kruselina Georgieva said the period of slower economic activity will be prolonged with the next five years of growth remaining around 3%, calling it our lowest medium-term growth forecast since 1990, and well below the average of 3.8% from the past two decades. A delegation of the South Asian Women Development Forum headed by the President Pramila Atsare Rizal paid a courtesy call on Prime Minister Pushpakamal Dahal at the latter's official residence in Balwatar, Kathmandu. During the visit, President Rizal briefed the Prime Minister about the first Women Entrepreneurs Green Industrial Park project initiated by the forum in collaboration with the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Supplies and Pascal Municipality at Hokse Pascal Municipality Kabrapalanchok district of Province 3, Nepal. South Asia Watch on Trade, Economics and Environment organized a roundtable discussion on the Bilateral Trade Treaty. The study carried out by SAWTE on the topic was also presented at the discussion held in Kathmandu. The roundtable discussion held the views that with the Nepal-India Treaty of Trade of Foreign Renewal this year, the government of Nepal should seek revisions to the treaty geared towards removing barriers faced by Nepali goods in India, restoring Nepal's policy space to protect its farmers from unfettered agricultural imports and enabling Nepal to pursue preferential trade agreements with other countries. The third National Cooperative Congress was concluded on Saturday by issuing an 11-point declaration on emphasis on production, processing and marketing to contribute to the making of a self-reliant economy. National Cooperative Federation of Nepal organized the third National Cooperative Congress 2023 in collaboration with the Ministry of Land Management, 
cooperatives and poverty alleviation. The declaration focuses on environment-friendly agriculture, import substitution, export promotion, employment, generation and advancing public-private and cooperative partnerships. The government unveiled a common minimum program by incorporating the issues ranging from the completion of the remaining tax of peace process, promotion of federal democratic republic, protection of the constitution, and addressing the economic problems and relief to the people. In the presence of the top leaders of the coalition parties, including Prime Minister Pusakamal Dahal, the CMP was presented at the office of the Prime Minister and the Council of Ministers with the priority on good governance and economic development. I have been Prazul Nepali. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates and for more on these stories, visit b360nepal.com.